the answers that you seek are already there. The questions, it's the questions that you're asking. Maybe you're asking the wrong questions. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Joss, coming to you live from happyjustrocks.com and here out on my uh, workout run or jog. And, dude, this is my playground for the time being. You can just see beautiful views of the mountains, this kind of awesome lake. And uh, it's crazy because most people don't ever explore their surroundings at all. And I'm telling you, there's beauty inside every corner uh, place that you see. I mean, I grew up in L.A. in the inner cities. Uh, <laughs> um, I remember when the L.A. riots were there, you know what I mean? And I found beauty in the ugly, the smells, the people, and all that stuff. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Sometimes circumstances happen, right? And the que- when we get to those points of where we're like, despair, we got like all this weight on our shoulders, and we're like, damn, I don't know what's going to happen. Why did this happen? You need to stop asking why. And you start asking how, um, and, and start and stop pointing fingers uh, um, the, to people or places out of things, right? Because the thing is, right, when you point some to something or someone, you got three fingers pointing back at you. So the answers that you seek really, really lie within yourself. And you know, maybe you're not in a favorable position, and it's okay. It happens. You know what I mean? I need you to like focus, regroup yourself, because that's how you're gonna get out of that one. And, you know, deep down, there's a little tiny spot in there in your heart that says it's going to be all right, but you need to take a step uh, into the right direction. So we're coming close to Thanksgiving week, right? And um, I want you to think of the things that you're grateful for. Every tiny single thing, because I'm telling you the answers that you seek are going to be in those tiny things. So get yourself a freaking piece of paper, a pen, a book, you know what I mean? Danny Johnson says this, I used to keep a, um, a sprouts journal. I called it a seed journal. I used to make, make some. So do yourself a favor for this Thanksgiving week. Write down every tiny thing that you're grateful for, that you're thankful for. It doesn't matter how small or it could be like, hey, I got a place to live. I got a bed to sleep on. I got heat. I got food. I got family. Um, I got these shoes and socks on my feet. You know what I mean? Uh, I got this. Like it's every single thing. When you start, when you start to do that, the world will actually open up to you. And instead of being closed and small and you feel trapped, all of a sudden you're breaking free. It's kind of like digging yourself out of that hole, right? So I want you to reflect on those things. This is your assignment for this week. <laughs> and tell me, and I'll, um, there's going to be a difference, an experience that you're going to get. It may, not, it may be at the 10th thing. It may be at the 15th thing or the 20th, 50th, um, 100th, 200th. I don't know. Depending on whatever number or whatever, you're going to experience a breakthrough, a breakthrough that you're going to experience. I keep throwing stuff at you. <laughs> but seriously, guys, enjoy your wonderful, beautiful surroundings. Uh, find pleasure in those things. And be sure to write down every single tiny thing that you're grateful for. Because um, I'm grateful for a lot of things. <laughs> this wonderful air that I'm breathing, that I'm still alive. Because I wouldn't... I'll tell you my, my life story in a different video. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be here. I could have died plenty and plenty of times. Um, but for some reason, I'm still here. And for me, that just shows that there's a greater purpose of that. I'm not saying that I'm great because I am nothing. <laughs> uh, anything that I do is nothing. Um, I know who my Savior is. I know who my Lord is. I know who my God, who my God is. Powerful, mighty, merciful, forgiving, um, intelligent, omnipresent, just man i'm very passionate about that and some of you guys that may offend you you know what i mean and i'm sorry not so sorry you know what i mean that's my relationship with my god and if you're offended that's that's on you (laughs) it doesn't affect me whatsoever i'm not going to change anything of that um anyways you guys i'm going to finish out my workout as i gorge on these beautiful mountains and this lake and i'll catch you on the flip side be sure to do your homework assignment that i said all right guys peace out (laughs)